Nearly two months since heavy rains caused a partial breach of a dam on the Yantic River. It led to a devastating flood, causing evacuations and damaging homes and businesses in Norwich. Yeah, many have rebuilt and reopened since, but it has not been easy. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts checked in with some today and joins us now live from Norwich with more on them. Hi, Amanda. Hey, Kevin Amber, it's been a long and expensive road for those here in Norwich in this community after that devastating flood. Those we spoke to today said they know this area will flood again, but they hope it's never like January 10th. The photos were shocking to see. Some even went viral. Heavy rain in January causing the Yantig River to flood, leaving homes, businesses and parking lots looking like rivers themselves. I can't say it won't happen again. I know it will happen again, but hopefully to not that extent. This was the parking lot of Busy Bee's Play Hive. Inside was a mess of water and mud. It forced them to close for six and a half weeks. January is always our busiest month, and so that that hurt a little bit. Um, and we had to cancel so many people's birthday parties, so that was sad. Owner Shiloh Santor said they finally reopened a week ago, but it took thousands of dollars and many long nights. It was a lot of work. Her husband, the one who went viral after being rescued from the dominoes next door, made the repairs with the help of other parents of the indoor playground. He works full time at EB during the day. And um, so after that, and usually like after dinner, he would come down here and work until like 2 a.m. Most nights he would do a lot of Facebook lives before he would leave at like 2 a.m. and some people were up. Down the road, the Edward and Mary Lord Family Health Center is still repairing their basement. We came in to um, water coming up from the concrete floors and through the foundation. Only two inches of water collected down here, but it displaced 58 offices and their food pantry, but only for a little while longer. So we're just intending to replace the sheetrock, the insulation and the flooring. Um, and get back to business. Now, Senator Blumenthal is here right now touring this health center, taking a closer look at the damage. We'll have much more from those folks coming up at five, including what they say this all is costing them. Live in Norwich, Amanda Pitts, NBC Connecticut News. Kevin.